Welcome Wolf Pack to our newest scum update video. I haven't done one of these in quite some time, but this one is a huge update, so I wanted to drop you this video and bring you up to speed with what is going on in scum. In order to keep these update videos manageable and easy to digest, I'm going to focus on one or two topics for each video. Just to give you an idea of where these videos are going, what you saw in the intro are the massive changes to the stealth attribute and how it messes with puppets. Uh, I think that is really cool, and if that was the only thing that rolled out, this week, I think that would be enough, but uh, there is a load of stuff to go through. So you will see a few videos from me in the next few days. Today, April 30th, 2020, the Scum developers dropped their largest content update of the year, and there is much more on the way in the very near future. Today, we will discuss the updated storage options that have been added or improved on with this patch. There's a little something for everyone on this topic. A fellow Scum content creator and friend of mine, Bo Johnson, will be excited by these two log storage sheds that have been added. Plenty of logs can now be stored within your base radius without using up a bunch of chest storage areas. The small log shed is available at the basic engineering level, and the large log shed is available at the medium engineering level. Both of those storage sheds are base components, considered base components, and they must be built within your flag radius. They will not be allowed to be built outside your flag radius. The log sheds can be locked and can only be used to store big logs, small logs, small sticks, or long sticks, and the devs mentioned planks in the dev log, but I was unable to get a plank into the shed in either orientation. I'm sure a hotfix will be fixing that issue soon. No other inventory items can be placed into the log sheds. If you like Scum PvE and base building livestream gameplay, check out Bo. I will link him in the description below. Let's head over to C3 Town and check out the other options that were added. While we're on our way, take a look at the changes on the bottom right. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and set your notifications to all because our next video is going to discuss the extensive changes to vehicles and how they run and how to keep them running. For those of you who have bases cluttered with 100 chests that are tough to manage and keep track of, there are two storage options now available to you. The improvised wardrobe is just as wide as the top tier metal chest, but three times larger in storage height. Likewise, the storage shelves are just as wide as the top tier metal chest, but six times larger in storage height. Both of these craftable items can be placed anywhere, not necessarily in your flag radius, which allows them to be used in claim buildings or randomly throughout the map. There is still no storage capacity for the wooden cabinet available in the basic engineering skill, and that item only functions as a decoration and must be placed within your base flag radius. For the transient vagabonds that roam the map, burying your loot, the storage size of each chest has been increased by 25%, allowing you to bury more loot per chest. Another nice thing included in this update is the disturbed ground where you bury your traps and chests will blend in with the natural ground a little bit better now. Although it doesn't appear to have changed here so much, but this is a very silly place to bury your stuff anyway. When you come over here and bury a chest in a lesser obvious place, it will blend in a lot better than it used to. You'll really have to be looking out for a chest to find it here. That is a lot easier to hide than it was before in the past. Let's check out another textured area, but that's just in the grass. Let's, go. Let's see what it looks like up here in the ferns. That is a lot less obvious than what it was before. I like it. And of course, everybody wants to see what it looks like in the snow. Let's check it out in the snow. It's still pretty obvious in the snow. Let's give it a shot, see what it looks like under a bush. A little tip, guys, if you are burying your chest, the chests seem to be buried closer to where your player is standing rather than where the chest is when you're burying it. So keep that in mind when you're burying your chest. You might want to stand inside the bush as you're burying the chest because I have a feeling that this chest is going to show up uh, closer to the player and outside of that bush when you're uh, trying to hide it. As you can see there, it is not anywhere near that bush when we had it actually inside that bush. And they snuck this one by me as well. If you right-click and hold into the focus mode, you're you now have a blueprint of where your chest was or a marker where your chest was. If you got something out of today's video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that red subscribe button and set your notifications to all to join the Wolfpack Gaming community. Right about now, the video explaining changes to vehicles in this patch will be showing up on your left. If you've caught up with these updates, check out a playlist of our other scum tutorials showing up on your right. Click any one of those links and we will see you over there.